Yo guys, Elementals here. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some useful building techniques that I like to use in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, before this video even starts, I just want to say I'm not the best builder in this game. I sort of know what I'm doing. I would say I'm the average player, or maybe just above average, or whatever like that. So yeah, we're currently playing a playground. The best thing to do is play playground when you're learning something new. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Now, I've released two solo videos of me trying to use Builder Pro, trying to be my best to improve, trying to build a lot. So if you guys want to check that out it will be the first two links in the description down below uh, if you guys want to watch it they'll be much appreciated you guys don't have to but yeah so we're gonna get to our first pushing method it's pretty much the wall stair or stair wall so this is sort of effective not the best it's only effective when you're building up to someone the same height as you because they have to shoot through the wall and then the stair if you're building high when someone's just standing still like this they can just easily shoot the stair depends how high you are you'll fall to your death or you'll take a lot of damage now if you want to prevent that or uh, increase your chances of surviving or making your wall not destroyed at a platform so the the pattern I like to use is this, at a stair so at a stair platform wall 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 and so on stair platform wall now a lot of people like to do this for some reason it's up to you however you guys want to do it but a lot of people like to put a platform first then the stair now, I'm not a fan of that because it doesn't feel natural to me. I don't know why, but yeah, you guys, whatever you guys feel like, do whatever you want. But I prefer the stair platform wall first because I like to have the wall placed first because I want the wall to have max health first before I place anything else. So yeah, there's the second thing. It's a bit more, uh, it protects the stairs a little bit more than the first one I showed you. Now, the second one is good as well. It's pretty much like the first one I showed you, but double. So you want to have two stairs two walls two stairs two walls two stairs two walls two stairs two walls now I'm not very fluent with this as you guys can see I'm stuffing up quite a bit now I'm sorry I'm still trying I'm still trying to learn this myself as well we're not all perfect we're not all God builders all right so as you can see it doesn't feel it doesn't feel too natural to me I guess it will soon as you continue practicing practice means perfect guys so yeah keep playing on play, uh, playground keep trying it for yourself but there's a third method obviously it's similar like the first one you want to be uh, you want to do this if you're the if you're building up to the same height as someone if someone's just underneath you they could just shoot the stairs two stairs and you're dead as well so yeah be careful that when you're pushing someone you don't want to build too high obviously pretty sure most of you guys know that it's just common sense now the last two tips our, our last two pushing methods i want to show you guys is very weird this one i wouldn't recommend using but it's, i see a lot of people using it for some reason so i'm going to show you right now it's called the pyramid rush so a lot of people have been saying that this is like the new pushing method it's the fastest pushing method to retake higher ground so all you got to do i don't understand this don't don't ask okay you want to build a pla uh, build a pyramid on top of your stair build a stair jump place a pyramid build a stair jump place a pyramid and just try to do this as quick as you can now I, it doesn't feel you uh, it doesn't feel very good to me because you're just losing stamina like you jump slower and like you jump lower it's just, I, I don't I don't like it and it doesn't give your stairs much protection and yeah I don't know how oh it's because it's connected there. I was like how are these stairs hovering right now but as you can see that's that's pretty much the gist of it you guys get it it doesn't give your stairs any protection but apparently it gives you it, you can retake the high ground higher or it's a it's a faster way of getting up which i don't see you guys be the judge of that you guys can learn it if you it, i guess it looks cool i guess but yeah now the last thing i really want to learn uh and also you guys should learn as well you guys might want to do this with a friend or whatever like that so pretty much let's just say I'm just gonna build up here you want your friend to have the high ground by one stair above you so I'll show you guys what I mean so I'll start building from here yep perfect so let's just say you're in this position the opponent beats you by one stair what you want to do place a pyramid now once you've placed that pyramid and you see him trapped there you can do either one or two things before he reacts normally the player will be like oh crap like why can't I move why is my screen blocked? because I'll show you in his point of view once the platform's on him and he's all the way up here, he's like, oh crap, what happened? Like, he's looking around, trying to figure out what he's done. Now, before his reaction, like, he re he's reacting, you want to do one or two things. You want to build a platform, you can do, you can trap him and place two traps or one trap, depends how much health he is in. Obviously, one trap does 150 health. And uh, you have to do this pretty quick, though, because if he's smart enough, he'll just rotate the stairs and shoot you. 
Or you can just build, quickly retake the high ground again, just do all this stuff, build, 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 and then you've got the high ground. Because most likely he'll still be stuck there or you'll just slow him down. It's a good tip to slow down people once they've got the high ground on you. I see a lot of people using it now in my games. It's really frustrating because I don't know how to do it myself just yet. But yeah, like I said, once he's got the high ground, I'll just do this, let's just say there. Bang, pyramid, trap him, or retake the high ground yourself. And just build, do, do whatever you want. Now, that's pretty much all I got. I know there's some other building techniques a lot of people do use out there as well. But these are the ones that I see a lot in my games. And some of these I like to use. For example, I like to use the stair platform wall technique. I find that highly effective, especially in solos. Uh, for squads, especially, I don't feel like pushing is the best thing to do. Especially if you're down, down a man, down two mans, or if it's a 1v4 solo squads or whatever like that. I suggest just hiding because pushing someone or pushing four people when they're shooting at your walls isn't going to do much. Walls are... The walls aren't indestructible. I'm pretty sure all you guys knew that. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video. I know um, I'm not the best builder. I don't know much about this game just yet. I'm still trying to learn how to build. I'm still trying to become a fast builder in this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys could leave a like down below, I really would do appreciate it. So, uh, if you guys haven't checked out my other recent two videos, it's pretty much of me just playing solo, getting some solid kills. I really would like some tips. If you, if there's any like good players out there, please give me some tips on what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, whatever like that. I just want to become a better player, get some good gameplay out for you guys. So, if you guys would like to check out the two videos, they'll be in the description down below, like I said before. And yeah. There'll be an announcement soon on, on, on the videos in the future. Um, I'm going to be planning to play with some subscribers soon, play some Fortnite games, get some funny moments, get some really clutch wins with you guys. So there'll be an announcement of that soon in the future videos on how to get into a game and all that stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!